Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the saved viewpoints palette. First you have to find the palette. Normally the tab for this palette is located on the right hand side of the screen. If you do not see it, click the viewpoint tab at the top of the screen and click the little diagonal arrow next to the save, load, and playback panel title. Clicking on this little arrow makes the palette come and go. Once you have it open, you may need to click on the pin at the top of the palette to keep it open. Then you can click on the different views to help navigate through the building. If the project has been set up internally, it is likely to have the following items on the menu. Save viewpoint, which is often a view from outside the building. Sometimes you've got two of them, one which is in perspective and the other which is in orthographic. Room views often split into folders from different floors. If you click on one of these, it will locate you into that particular room in the model. Sections, which provide sections of the building, either vertically or horizontally. MEP and steel views that are often horizontal sections with only structure and MEP showing. This gives you a good view um, of clashes. There may be additional viewpoints, either MEP clash viewpoints or viewpoints that are saved to highlight particular problems. Exposed duct work, exposed beam in an AV closet, that sort of thing. Save viewpoints is a great place to start to get you to a specific view or specific location in a building, and you can navigate from there. Thank you.